Welcome to ClickMyProject.com. Let's can discuss the project about an efficient multi-object detection and tracking framework for automatic counting and video surveillance applications. In this paper, an automatic visually object detection and tracking framework is proposed to reliable introduced video surveillance and counting based application in the consumer electronics environment. It is based on after-self equipment such as IP, web cameras and PCs and does not need especially installation and configuration requirements. The detection stage is based on a parametric background subtraction technique that detects the moving region in the input video flow. A post-processing stage refines the detection by estimating and fitting a set of ellipse that represents the moving object to the previous set of moving regions. The tracking stage uses a Bayesian model to simulate the object trajectories. For this purpose, a particle filtering technique is used to predict a set of hypotheses that represent the most probable object locations. These hypotheses are verified using a novel likelihood function that evaluates each high hypothetical object configuration with a set of available detection without uh, explicit computer data association. Thus, a considerable saving in computational costs is achieved. In addition, the likelihood function has been designed to account for noisy faults and uh, missing detections. In our work, we have to work with background subtraction, shadow removal, ellipse fitting. Uh, regarding the ellipse fitting, here we are uh, using uh, rectangle to select the object and then object tracking and then object tracking adaptation and then trajectories. This is the flow of our process. First we load our input video then we are converting it into frames and each and every frame is go for pre-processing step. In a pre-processing we are just removing the noises from our input frames. Noise is nothing but in any same information that contaminates on image. These noises are removed using some types of filters. Here we are applying Gaussian filter to remove the noises. And then we will apply Gaussian smoothing. Gaussian smoothing uh, to an image is the same as convolution. Convolving the image with the Gaussian function. This is known as a two-dimensional wire stress transformation. Applying a Gaussian smoothing has an effect of reducing the image's high frequency components. Applying Gaussian smoothing has the effect of reducing the image's high frequency components. A Gaussian blur is the uh, low pass filter. Then we will go for adaptive GMM. Uh, Gaussian mixer model is a probabilistic model for uh, representing the presence of subpopulation within an overall population. Formally, a Gaussian mixer model corresponds to the Gaussian mixer distribution that represents the probability distribution of observation in the overall population. Then we will go for foreground extraction. Morphological operations such as closing and opening or applied on the noisy foreground mask. Collected component analysis is done to find and draw the object contours. Then we will extract the foregrounds. Then we will go for uh, shadow illumination. The identification of shadow is done by comparing all the non-background pixels against the current background components in the YCBCR color space. If the difference in the both chromatic and brightness components are within some threshold, the pixel is considered as uh, shadow. Finally, we will go for our foreground masking, detecting the moving object from the difference between the current frame and the reference frame, often called foreground masking. Foreground masking is a widely used approach for detecting moving objects in videos from static cameras, since some image regions of interest will be in its foreground. Now let us see the execution of the process. First, we select main.m file and click run file. This is the MATLAB guy window designed for geometric based object association and consistent labeling in multi surveillance, multi camera surveillance. We will go for uh, first we will load our input image. These are three data set. First, I select the uh, video. Video is loading and played in the in this place. Video is played and then frame conversion. Frames are converted and next for pre-processing is applied. Here we are applying Gaussian filter to remove the noises for the total frames and then we will go for our 
add up to GMM based to foreground pixel extraction. Add up to GMM can be used to determine whether a new input pixel belongs to the background or the foreground. If the pixel matches one of the B distributions, it is treated as a background, otherwise it is a foreground pixel. Gaussian smoothing operation is applied on each input RGB frames. Through performing frame uh, difference between the smooth input and the background image maintained by the adaptive GMM, the foreground pixels including moving shadows are extracted first. And then we will go for shadow removal. The identification of shadows of is done by comparing all the non-background pixels against the current background uh, components in the YCBC or color space. Here we will eliminate the shadows. Then we will go for uh, And then object or uh, extraction process is done. In the object extraction, we first find the draw contours in the filtered foreground masks. Here we find the contours. Then finally we will find the bounding box where the object is moving. Here the bounding box is clearly watched our moving object even if the size is changed. Thus our algorithm works properly. Thank you.